friends welcome to the mooc on academic counseling for open and distance learning odl learners in the previous video we discussed on stages of academic counseling in this video we shall be discussing about media of counseling distance learners are encouraged to be self supporting and independent learners but still they need some support and motivation to move ahead and complete their learning learners in distance education interact individually with their self learning materials they get to interact socially with their peers and academic counselors during the counseling sessions apart from counseling sessions the communication between the learners and the academic counselors can take place through variety of media distance learning institutions make use of technology for supporting the interaction between teachers and learners or group of learners there are different ways and means used for counseling the first is face to face counseling and now all of us know about it these sessions aim at reinforcing the self learning material and offering remedial help wherever required to the learners it also allows for peer interaction and establishing a human link we know that role of an academic counselor is different from a teacher in the traditional classroom the teacher controls the learning in a classroom whereas in a counseling session a learner controls the learning next is the counseling through assignments in distance education learners have to prepare their assignments and submit it to the study center an academic counselor is required to mark the assignments in most of the courses an academic counselor mark the assignment with comments grades or marks for the continuous assessment and improvement of the learners this is the only support which reaches to each learner with individual comments comments are most important aspects of the assignments assignments are the means of academic communication between the learner and the academic counselor or the teacher counseling through phones it may not be common in all the universities or the institutions but it is an instant and personal medium of counseling telephone or mobile phone allows to reach the learner or counselor with no time and allows for one to one interaction nowadays mobile phones allow for group calling teleconferencing messaging use of social networking websites and video conferencing for better and speedy interaction all these can now be explored by the new age academic counselors to support the learners next is counseling through letters letters might not be a common medium now as new technologies have taken its place and given faster options for communication but effective counseling can be given through writing letters here reading takes place of listening writing is done in place of speaking structuring of the letter is important in this type of counseling as the letter should be structured in a way that it is clear and useful to the learners and it is easy to understand to the learners the next is counseling through handbooks counseling handbooks are prepared specifically for the purpose of supporting the learners in the odl system they are aimed at encouraging learners to clarify on the issues on their own and motivate them to raise only appropriate and relevant questions such handbooks are written in an interactive style with the aim to make the learners reflective learners and to make them able to solve their own queries similar to that of counseling handbooks counseling through audio and video is also done use of audio and video in counseling and these interactive audio and video or recordings can be made in similar ways not all the universities may have this system of recording but it can be really useful there could be variety of recordings 
developed by experts for different types of counseling, like anxiety counseling, examination counseling, etc. These recordings are useful as they can be used while pursuing any other physical task. So a learner doesn't have to sit and listen to these recordings, but he can uh, use these recordings while pursuing other activities also. Next is counseling from one to many, that is counseling through broadcasting, either radio or television. Broadcasting provides a unique feature of mass counseling to enrich and motivate learners. Broadcasting had less opportunity for interaction definitely, but with the advent of technology, it is possible through various ways. One such is phone and radio or phone and TV option to raise the question to get the answers from the experts sitting in the studio. CIAT and CRT organizes one such broadcast counseling through television in which examination related anxiety problems are solved by the experts sitting in the studio and it has been well appreciated program by the listeners of the program. Next is counseling through internet. Internet nowadays has opened a new window for interaction. Till date it was not a well tapped medium but now as the internet is becoming cheaper and with mobile set in every hand and every home it is becoming possible to use internet for different purposes. The various options are there to explore like emails, online discussions, video conferencing, audio conferencing, use of World Wide Web and many more. These options can be explored and implemented by academic counselors to guide and motivate the learners. The academic counselors need to take a lead and explore this medium to reach out to the learners to support them in the learning process. That is it for this particular video. We will today summarize our all the three videos, what we have learned in these three videos. That is, academic counseling in distance education is for providing academic and non-academic guidance to the learners. But we now understand that it is different from the classroom situation. Academic counseling involves tutoring and counseling both. Academic counseling has three major activities, informing, advising, and counseling. Counseling in distance education is required at different stages, which are not the watertight compartments, but are just meant to help the counselor. They are pre-entry stage, entry to the course, during the course, examination stage, and post-course stage. Academic counseling can be done using a variety of media and mix of media like face-to-face -face counseling, counseling through handbooks, counseling through audio and video, counseling through internet, counseling through broadcasting or on TV and radio and counseling through internet. Many more new media can be explored for counseling which are available with the advent of technology. Thank you learners.